Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for all of you based on your location and your local time. Welcome everybody to our today webinar which we will discuss together about uh, differential protection testing. Mainly we will focus on transformer differential protection. And uh, uh, to start this webinar, let's start with agenda for today. Today's webinar, the first one of the first point we will focus on uh, the theory of the differential protection. Then we will follow with that about, uh, with uh, test differential protection with Omicron solution and Omicron solution provide, uh, provide two type of testing, system-based testing and protection uh, parameter setting based testing. If we talked about the parameter setting based testing or setting based testing, which is a conventional method and uh, it's likely to check and verify the relay setting. And the second approach, which is called the system-based testing and in Omicron, we call it relay synthesis software. A lot of benefit, a lot of uh, uh, options that we can use in uh, system-based testing side by side with the conventional to increase the quality of the testing. And we will see and learn how to use both of them together to um, uh, maximize the quality of our testing. Let's go to the main topic, which is the differential protection uh, principles. As we see right now, this is an uh, uh, image about a, a bar transformer. We have two side primary and secondary. And as you see here, uh, it is uh, connected to two in feed. Sometimes it's one in feed and one load, whatever, but it has two sides. And for sure, definitely, it has two terminus, different terminus ratio, winding one, winding two. It is used for stepping up or stepping down part, uh, about, as a power transformer, which is used in our uh, power system. And to simplify that, I will represent it in a single uh, uh, line diagram. As you see here, we have the two winding. Sometimes we have a tertiary as well. At that time, we will have three winding, but uh, as as we see right now, we have a, a primary and secondary two winding as well. The benefit behind using the transformer differential uh, protection is uh, the differential uh, protection is a unity uh, protection. What does it mean by unity? Unity, it means that uh, it is detecting the internal fault and it will be restrained or stable against the external fault. Let's give one example. If we have external fault here, the differential must not issue any trip related to a differential trip because it is external fault and should be stable because uh, current in equal to current out. Uh, and if we have an internal fault immediately, in a spontaneously, very fast trip will occur and it will trip both sides circuit breakers. And this is a very important and very selective uh, uh, trip command because it can recognize the internal fault and also the external fault to avoid uh, a misoperation. And it is for very fast tripping. That's why we would like always to use that differential protection to be applied in our power transformer. For sure, we cannot apply it in small or uh, low voltage power transformer. Only we have a limit of um, uh, five mm, megavolt ampere and above. If it is less, it's based on the priority of this uh, power transformer to apply that differential protection because it's costly and we have to uh, make sure that this cost is not uh, expensive compared to the price of the asset itself. The same thing also if we have an internal fault between the two CTs, not only inside the power transformer tank or inside the winding uh, itself, it should be also issue a trip. Uh, as you see here, it's a kind of a fault between the CT and the winding. It can be maybe uh, uh, between, uh, uh, between the pushing and the winding and should be also uh, considered as an internal trip because the differential will recognize the fault uh, between the two CTs, between the two sides as you see it right now. Why a power transformer is different? Uh, power transformer differential is different than line differential, for example. This will uh, show us some of the reasons that it make it different, different uh, than uh, line uh, differential. 
But the first point is we have a current magnitude on both sides are different. As you know, we have a different thickness ratio. Primary is completely different than secondary for sure because we said power transformer stepping up or stepping down. That's why we have a different current value. And also we have a vector group which will also affect on the uh, uh, angle, uh, the uh, phase angle of the phases uh, different between primary and secondary as well. And also we have a different CT ratio from both both side and this also makes it is a little bit complicated compared to the line differential which has the same voltage sometimes mostly same CT ratio both side and it is easy no vector group at, uh, at all uh, but some cases we have a line protection with a line differential including transformer in zone but here I'm, I, I was talking about a pure line differential without any uh, the French uh, the, the new transformer in zone we have something else we have to take care about zero sequence elimination we have to apply this technique in case you have uh, the star point grounded or you apply uh, you apply the, the, uh, this vector group in at any side you have to apply the zero sequence elimination to avoid miss operation why miss operation we will see it later but only to give a hint that this can cause a miss operation in case of external line to ground fault because it will circulate the current in the protected zone and it can be detected by the differential if we didn't apply zero sequence elimination. I hope it is clear for all of you. Uh, let's talk about one of the important points why we need to apply different slopes in uh, uh, line pro uh, in the bar transformer uh, differential protection uh, 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 slopes. Uh, why it is different, sometimes uh, three slopes, sometimes two slopes, based on the relay manufacturer. Uh, why we need it, why it's not um, like a, a definite time over current, for example, uh, like uh, uh, only a single point setting of the current, if it is exceeded, should be driven. That's it. It's not possible because of uh, many reasons. Let's uh, discuss about some of it. Uh, the first one is the magnetization of the core. As we know that once you uh, energize a power transformer, even without connecting the uh, output side, which is sometimes the secondary, uh, which is the secondary side, for example, some current or some power will uh, be injected inside the uh, iron core uh, to do the magnetization of the iron core of the power transformer. And this current will not get out of the transformer at that moment this means that the uh, main concept of the differential will not be applied because current in not out which is the magnetization uh, uh, of this uh, iron core this should be considered and to be avoided in in, in the setting calculation it is very less based on the design of the power transformer the second point is the leakage due to the tab change we know that we have a tab changer it's based on the manufacturer as well also and the application of the power transformer sometimes it Sometimes we have it in the high side, sometimes we have it in the low side based on the application of the bottom transformer because I saw both of the application available at uh, site as well. And uh, coming back, we have a current leakage due to the tab changer. We have to also avoid that in setting calculation. The third point which we need to talk about here and um, uh, professionally uh, CT saturation. We know that uh, with the heavy external fault or with any uh, high current fault, CT can be partially or fully saturated, which will affect on our uh, protection, uh, especially in the differential, because both will not be equal. Uh, here we need to define that we have two elements which should be calculated, a uh, restraint, which sometimes we call it bias, and the other one is called the differential. Let's see the slope and how we can see the operating characteristic. We have a relation here between the differential and the I bias. As we see here, the differential is uh, I primary minus I secondary uh, and I bias, magnitude of I uh, primary plus I secondary. Actually, this is not true in all relay manufacturer because we have a different bias equation. We will talk about that one later, but to simplify, we can use this concept as well to draw the characteristic or the operating characteristic. Let's start with the magnetization current, and as we talked about this in the last slide, this is a fixed current which it will flow inside the iron core 
and or it will not get out uh, from the power transformer, then it should be considered to be a void in the setting calculation. The second one is a tab exchanger leakage, and this will be uh, related to the tab position and also the current, uh, or uh, you can say the load uh, condition, then it will be increased with uh, 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 higher loads. The third one, which is very, very important to be considered also the CT saturation. As we see here with the heavy external flow, it can cause a kind of partial saturation, which it can push the uh, 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 differential uh, protection relay to misoperate, but for sure we know with a, a new digital uh, um, and numerical protection relays, it has a comp internally compensation uh, for such kind of uh, saturation. And we need to make uh, the summation of all of these factors. And for sure, our setting should be avoid at the minimum setting I differential greater to avoid more than those. We have a I differential double greater is the maximum limit, the high stage, sometimes we call it. And after that, we have to draw the, our, our characteristic and calculate our slope to avoid such problem. Uh, especially with the heavy external fault. This is how we can calculate the operating characteristic for our power transformer. And as you see here, the area below the curve or the slope will be a blocking area. We call it sometimes restrained or biased area. No trip will occur. And in the above should be the trip area and the trip area in any case should trip uh, if we have the uh, uh, differential current allocate in this uh, 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 area with this yellow color. Uh, if you remember last slide, we talked about uh, different bias equation. As we see here, we have a different examples uh, from different manufacturer and all of them are correct. Uh, each one of them uh, try to put his uh, uh, innovative ideas about how to do better uh, bias calculation for uh, their uh, protection application. And uh, this make a, a summit challenge for the commissioning and maintenance engineers to take care about that. We don't have a, a fixed uh, uh, equation for all of the relay manufacturers. That's why we have to consider that once we will start to uh, test uh, differential uh, protection for the transformer. You have to take care about the bias equation, which is also be uh, considered inside our test module during testing. Um, let's go directly to uh, transformer uh, differential uh, uh, relay, how it is connected to the uh, system and uh, what, is the, uh, uh, what is the main uh, uh, test points which we need to check, uh, which is recommended uh, from Omicron to you to, to be applied uh, to do the testing or the maintenance for such kind of application. Uh, point number one, which, which is a wiring check. Uh, uh, this wiring check is a very, very important uh, before starting any test uh, 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 file. You have to verify that your wiring is connected correctly by injecting different current value, different voltage value in case if your application needs uh, voltage as well. These different uh, values, you have to read it out from the relay, uh, which is under test, to make sure that your wiring is correctly. Please for, uh, 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 consider this as a very important, not to lose your effort and, uh, uh, and uh, your time in case you make any miswiring or gong wiring because it will delay your uh, progress in the testing. The second point is the first trip, which we consider as a general uh, fault. You, you can create this general fault uh, to verify that the relay is still acting and giving a feedback uh, because sometimes uh, during the maintenance, uh, routine maintenance test, which is sometimes in some utilities, testing uh, every four years. Sometimes uh, the relay is defective or it has a big problem. And instead of uh, doing the full, uh, uh, full test, 
from the beginning you can get the indication that you have an issue don't waste your time and from the beginning you can consider that this glaze is defective and not to continue uh, for the following points point number three is a pickup test which is also can be considered to check the sensitivity of that relay, the minimum current, uh, if you remember, I differential uh, uh, GHR can be uh, used as a parameter setting to check a backup at the drop off, and it can be used, it can be tested by using ramping test module. Uh, point number four is the stability test, which is very, very important. And we have here a test module called the configuration test module, which is uh, checking the stability of the uh, of the uh, secondary circuit of the uh, of the protection relay. No, point number five is a characteristic test, operating characteristic. We will talk about that one in the details. Number six is a trip time to check the trip time uh, of the uh, relay. Number seven is a harmonics block test, and we will talk about that one. And only just to highlight that we can uh, check uh, the second harmonics avoid the uh, NOH current with the energization of the power transformer and also the fifth harmonics avoid the, the, uh, the over, over uh, excitation and, uh, and during the over excitation it should uh, block the differential and keep the uh, other protection function for, uh, to uh, detect the over excitation V over F to trip the power transformer not the differential itself because this, this is not a differential fault and the second harmonics to block the differential uh, protection uh, during the uh, in rush uh, situation or in rush current uh, based on the uh, second harmonics value. We have a test module uh, uh, called uh, harmonic restraint. It can uh, be used to check that. And for sure, the uh, last point to make a verification that your protection system is completed by injecting the fault condition and checking that it is tripping the circuit breaker to make sure that your protective protection scheme is completely uh, correct. Uh, our example for today will be about GE relay B6 Micom B643 as a uh, transformer differential protection relay, uh, three to represent three uh, winding. Uh, this is the uh, uh, protection setting, 50 Hz, 160 MVA, uh, megavolt ampere is a rated power for the, this power transformer for primary side and uh, uh, the voltage primary side, uh, 231 kilo volts and uh, uh, secondary side, uh, 115 0.5 kilovolts and uh, the rated uh, voltage or rated power uh, of the secondary 118 megavolt and bare and the tertiary 10.5 kilovolt uh, and uh, power 42 megavolt and bare. The vector group Y0, uh, Y, Y, N0, D5 and uh, CT ratio in uh, primary 400, secondary. Six, uh, uh, secondary is 2,400 and tertiary 600 uh, due to side one will be represent the primary, side two will be tertiary, side three will be the secondary as per the relay manual. And we have the main setting 0.25 is I differential greater, 6 ampere is the I differential double greater. I, I change it to 10 ampere in our example. And uh, slope 1, 0.3, slope 2, 0.7, and the bias current is for I reference. And we have the harmonics, second harmonics is 20% I differential. This is general uh, about our uh, setting for today for the practical uh, session. And uh, let's start with uh, the steps uh, which we have to follow to, uh, to use Omicron solution for testing. Uh, uh, transformer differential relays. For sure, we have uh, three part. We have the uh, protection relay. We have the CNC test equipment. We have also the software, which we call the test module, based on the test universe. And as you see here, we have to establish the communication between the CMC and the PC. We have to connect the current and voltage based on the application. In our application today, we will use only current because it's a uh, 
low impedance differential uh, transformer or transformer differential. And we have to connect also the feedback. Trip contact is more than enough in this application. And for sure, uh, checking that everything is uh, communicated uh, correctly. Let's start with the Ohm's law. In Omicron, we use the Ohm, O-H-M, to do any kind of uh, testing by using the test universe. O will represent is a test object, which is a device under test. H is representing hardware configuration, which is uh, related to the configuration of the test equipment, like how many current channels you need to activate, how many binary input or binary output you would like to activate based on your application, and for sure ended with the test modules, which uh, uh, how many test modules you would like to apply or which uh, test module you would like to, to apply. Let's give you an example. Uh, we have here differential protection. This differential protection, for sure, we have to apply a differential protection test modules, which is not applicable to use a distance protection, for example, in this application or overcurrent in this application if we are uh, testing only differential function. Because uh, as we know, numerical relays right now has a lot of protection function in it. It, can, it has um, overcurrent, sometimes distance as well. Uh, in some in some in some uh, countries, I saw that they are applying distance protection in a power transformer to protect the each winding and representing this winding as impedance, and that's why they are using uh, distance protection to protect the winding, and at the same time also they used they use use this function as a backup, but the main uh, function is uh, differential protection for sure. Let's uh, again confirm this, uh, this uh, uh, information that we have to start with the test object, which is a, a relay setting. Uh, second one uh, is a hardware configuration, the configuration of the test equipment, and the last one to select the test modules, which we'd like to use to test our protection function. How we need to connect? As we see right now, for differential, for transformer differential for sure, if we have a two winding, we have to connect primary and secondary as well as you see it right now. We can use uh, two different commands, two, two binary input, one for high side, one for low side. Most of the application we used one general trip instead of two, we will use only one. We have here a positive and negative for the binary input. We will talk about that one later. What does it mean and why we need it? After that, Let's start with the test object, the first step. Test object, as we see here, there is a, in, 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 in any OCC, you will find that the test object symbol is available. Double click and you can find here the uh, radio block related to uh, differential. We need to start to select which asset we need to, to, uh, to, uh, to test. Uh, we have a transformer, we have a generator, pass for line differential and pass power. Uh, protection, we, uh, the generator can be considered for generator and uh, for the motor as well. Uh, for sure, if you select uh, transformer, you will find that vector group is available. How many number of winding? Two, or you have a tertiary, at that moment you have to select three. And after that, you have to give the uh, information about the primary side and the secondary side related to the uh, voltage and uh, power and also uh, the vector group and if it is star-pointed, grounded, yes or no. And uh, after that, we have to also give the information about the CT, CT ratio, primary, secondary for the primary side, secondary side, then protection device, which is representing uh, the minimum setting and the bias equation based on the relay manufacturer as well. Then we have a characteristic definition uh, uh, which is representing the slope, slope one, two, or sometimes in some relays, we have three slopes. And also after that, we have to define the limit of the harmonics for the second and fifth harmonics as well. Let's talk about the differential and how we can, uh, differential uh, operating characteristic and how we can draw it. As per our example, I got this from the relay manual, B643 or B642 is the same family. And uh, we have some sitting in tight relay. We have IS1, which is representing I differential retard. We have IS, uh, 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 HS1, which is I differential uh, double retard. We have also IS2, uh, IS dash HS2, which is a double double, uh, which is double retard with a high set, but I will consider only 
ISHS uh, as a high set I double greater. We have here, as you see, three slopes, three portion. Portion number one here, we have uh, uh, I differential greater, which is I, uh, I S1. After that, we have K1, which is a slope number one. After that, we have uh, also uh, um, K2, which is a slope number two. I hope that now it's now clear. Here we have three sections, section one, section two, section three. Uh, this is a sitting, this is a sitting, this is a sitting, this is a sitting, and also IS2 is sitting. Then we have to define this point, this point, that point. Uh, luckily, in this relay, we will start from point origin, which is 0, 0, which is make our calculation is more easier. Let's see how we can draw, because this equation, we need to draw this characteristic in that test object for sure. Maybe some of you will say, okay, why we need it? We can use uh, BTL. Sure, definitely. BTL is available there, but always we say, we are saying that BTL is for saving your time as an expert. That's why we need to learn how to draw it to become an expert. And after that, if you face any issue during applying the PTL, you can uh, solve it easily. Here in the, in the, in the uh, green color, this is the setting from the relay. IS1 0.25, uh, which is I differential uh, greater. IS dash HS1, I put it as 10, as I differential double greater. I have a K1, which is a slope 1, 0 0.3, and I have a K2, uh, which is a slope 2, 0 0.7, and I have IS2 is 4. Then we need to, to define uh, those points to find point number 1, point number 2, point number 3. Point number 1, it is easy because we can use 0, 0. It's a bus with the origin. And how to calculate? Uh, uh, very easy, we can say that I differential equal to 0.3 as a setting uh, multiplied by I bias plus A, but because it's passing uh, with the origin, then uh, the A equal to zero. Then uh, I differential for the, bias, uh, the, the third slope or the third section is equal to 0.7 multiplied by I bias plus B. Let's start with the uh, point number one from the equation. We can get point number one is zero and zero, point number two, four, and second point of I differential 1.2. And after that, we can also find the point number three at uh, the 2.16.57 as a I bias and 10 is I differential as well. Uh, because I differential here, this is for representing the setting. Uh, four here is this one, and uh, zero and zero. Then you have triangle here, delta differential divided by delta strain equal to 10 delta equal to slope. From this equation also, you can use to find the missing, uh, the missing parameter. And after that, you have to define those points which is used to go your operating characteristic. This is how it's looked like. And to test this operating characteristic, for sure, we have two techniques. Technique number one is shots. These shots, it mean we have to allocate points, different points, uh, under the, uh, the slope and above the slope. We consider all of this area as a trip. This is no trip. And the test module will check. If we got a trip here, it will be failed. If we got an uh, arm trip here, it will be failed. Fail then it will check the tripping area and uh, the biased area as well. Then the second technique, we call it search. If you tested the uh, distance protection before, we have also shot, we have also search. The search is will look like that. As you see here, the, uh, the point, if you select the point line, it will go up and down until getting the, the maximum accurate point, which is uh, should be allocated on the line with the trolley, within the trolley runs. And for sure, we need to apply this two point at least for each line uh, slope to verify that uh, slope uh, is correctly as we are setting or not. This is how it is uh, working, how it is uh, working uh, in search technique. And for sure, it is uh, if it is within the tolerance, it should be passed.
let's talk about the uh, uh, after we draw the characteristic we get to know about the difference between short and surge let's talk about the harmonics the same as we mentioned before we have the second harmonics we have the fifth harmonics second harmonics to avoid a miss operation during the inrush current and how we can detect this by the setting of the second harmonics for example in my setting here we have 20 percent of the second harmonics the second harmonics if it is um, uh, more than 20 percent at that moment differential will be blocked until uh, until uh, 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 passing this time of the inner rush uh, and after that the second harmonics will be less and it will be ready to uh, protect the transmission line uh, the, the, the buttons format during the uh, op uh, energization uh, or in our, uh, working time if we have the fifths uh, to avoid the over excitation we know that for over excitation we have v over f protection this is will be considered uh, uh, as a protection a protection element to protect the partons former against over excitation not the differential itself the differential uh, during that time should be uh, blocked uh, and fifths harmonics will be the reference uh, if it is um, if the fifth harmonics is more than the limit of the setting the differential will be blocked this means that that this transformer is under over excitation condition and v over f we have has to take the rule of the uh, protection of the differential as well here again coming to the second point we finished already the test object now we come to the hardware configuration uh, for, for sure for the other configuration you have to define how many current how many binary input you need how many binary output you need even if you need dc to configure the dc all, all, all of that we will see it later here in this slide as you see here this is a, 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 trans, a transformer differential protection relay with a tertiary side connected to uh, this uh, connected to the system three 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 phase uh, cts uh, in the primary side three in the tertiary three in secondary as well and we have a, a differential with zero and we have a bias uh, this is under the uh, operate operation uh, condition and uh, if i need to test for sure uh, uh, a transformer should be out of service and at that moment uh, you can use a test block in the secondary to do short and isolate for this uh, for the current uh, secondary uh, circuits and for sure you need to connect your cmc to the buttons for me. maybe some of you will say okay we have only six current in the screen cmc 356 or 256 plus how we can test with the tertiary no no problem no issue we can test now primary to secondary and after that we can change from uh, primary to tertiary and after that from tertiary to f uh, to secondary as well at that moment in the in the btl we already covered that and also we can do that in the OCC. In the relay sim test, uh, we will we'll do the test one, one time with the tertiary as well. And we will see that together during the practical part. This is how it is connected. As I mentioned that before, we have a primary and secondary side. This is how it is connected. Uh, CMC, we have here a three phase uh, current for primary, three phase current for secondary. And we can use two trip uh, condition to be connected but here in my example I will use only one general trip for one single binary input if you remember I told you we have a binary input it can be used positive and negative sign as I mentioned before uh, I was mean uh, I was meaning uh, the difference between uh, with contact and dry contact dry contact we know already that it is a free contact from the relay connected to the CMC and it will detect the continuity if it is uh, zero uh, resistance it means that uh, the contact is closed if it is open it means higher uh, resistance but uh, with a weight contact which is preferred which preferred why because mostly uh, the way the used contact with the lookout uh, or the tripping uh, coil of the circuit breaker will be weight condition and we always use to try uh, the contact which is used in the uh, protection scheme for the tripping and as we see here the condition number one if this closed the positive will transfer to come here this is a positive and here we have a common negative uh, across the binary input we will have the dc 
uh, voltage uh, across, then the CNC automatically will detect that uh, so, uh, the thread contact is closed due to sensing the voltage. But in the uh, uh, dry contact, it will sense only the uh, resistance uh, of this uh, contact of the loop, the closing loop. No DC here as well. Um, another another step which is a very very important is uh, connecting your CMC to your PC. As we see here with the uh, Net2, this is the latest technology which we have. Net2 here we have Wi-Fi stick. If you would like to control it wireless, you can use it with a, a USB a cable, same exactly cable of the printer cable. You can use also two RG. Uh, you can use any of. Uh, of them any one of them one or two uh, this is an Ethernet port or RG45 uh, you can connect it to your PC and be careful about the IP address in case you have a static IP or uh, you can make it automatically automatic IP address in both in your PC and your CMC as well this is how it's look like the hardware configuration uh, for sure you have to configure by pressing the configure and you can select how many current and how many voltage you would, you would like to use in the, due to your application. You can also assign the number, the uh, analog and the binary input, uh, the write and write, and also the binary output that is needed in some application. Uh, DC uh, analog only required in testing transducers, and we have a time a time uh, source in case you would like to use this in the end to end. Uh, uh, testing, but in a bar transformer or the conventional testing of the bar transformer differential right now, I don't need it, but I will, I will use it in the relay sim test and I will show you why we need it in relay sim test, but not need it here. Okay, let's start with the third point from the ohm law, which is the uh, test modules. Uh, if you remember, we have O, H, M. Now the time for M and uh, for the test modules here, uh, as we mentioned before, the uh, recommended eight steps to test uh, any uh, power uh, transformer differential relay. We will start with the stability, which is represented by differential configuration test module, which check the stability. What does it mean about stability? It will uh, uh, simulate external fault or a normal loading, um, and the uh, relay must be restrained. No trip occurs uh, if if trip of course uh, that at that moment it will give you fail uh, uh, and the second one is a, a characteristic test to check the operating characteristic so we we, we discussed that uh, by two techniques shots or search so yeah I will mute I muted my mobile okay let's go back here for the trip time test and for the trip time test here as we see uh, to check the trip time for sure uh, to uh, injecting the uh, differential uh, points which it should uh, uh, lead to, to uh, the differential trip and uh, the test module will get the trip and give you a uh, trip time and uh, uh, so, uh, the point number seven here representing the harmonics uh, Harmonics block test for again it's the second harmonics and the fifth harmonics uh, based on the relay setting as well. Um, now we already uh, uh, completed the uh, ohm law uh, O H M and how it's look like we need to adjust the toast module by using the general setting. Uh, trigger condition should be verified and all that stuff as well. Uh, Trimming time, how it's look like, exactly similar to the same operating characteristic, but at that moment we don't care about the operating characteristic for sure. We only will allocate uh, a point testing point uh, above the uh, slope, which is representing uh, uh, trebbing uh, points. And actually, it will, instead of bias and differential slope, we will have uh, the relation between the I differential and the time. And for sure, uh, we have to put different point and getting the trip, uh, trip uh, time and uh, uh, less than I differential for sure, it will be no trip as well. Now let's uh, 
let's go for the uh, practical part. We will do and apply this technique uh, practically uh, by using uh, uh, CMC with the uh, protection uh, relays, uh, which I mentioned GE uh, Micom B643. Uh, 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 now I will close the presentation for now, and I will open the practical part, which is related to the OCC file. As we see here, this is the, as we see here, this is the OCC file. It started with the test object, then the hardware configuration, then we need to add the test module. Uh, we will start with the test object. I paid the information in advance to save your time of the webinar. Here, this is the general information before beta reporting. Three tests for sure, 50 characters. The primary uh, side, the voltage, line to line, line to neutral, and the same for the secondary of the VT. If it is connected to a decable, it would be, uh, should be fed here. The CT ratio, the maximum limit of current and voltage, and this is the most important of the radio clock of the differential. Here, transformer is our uh, test object or our protected object. Then we have the vector group. We have tertiary as per the relay setting. We need to feed the information for the primary side, starting with uh, the name, uh, voltage, power, and also don't forget if we have a star point uh, grounded, uh, should be yes. Uh, for secondary voltage power same, but here we don't have grounded, and for tertiary the vector group power and also the voltage. Uh, the CT, CT ratio for each side. Uh, here we have to select as per the relay manual which equation the uh, relay manufacturer apply. And don't forget also this is a minimum setting I differential, I differential double greater, trip sign as well, going directly to the operating characteristic. This is the same point which we already calculated, and don't forget the harmonics, second harmonics and fifth harmonics based on the delay setting. Now we finish this object, now we need to start with the hardware configuration. Let's now, uh, uh, I will open now the uh, webcam or the camera to, to show you uh, how we connect, how we, uh, we connected this protection delay with the CMC, and I will make it power up. As you see here, now I will turn it all on CMC. Uh, I already connected uh, six uh, current output, one, three, zero, combined generator table, and three normal uh, leads connected to the protective relay, which is really under test, and this all through the test switches. Uh, uh, now I will open the hardware configuration and to check that uh, CMC is connected to my system, it's not connected yet, let's start and let's see, okay, now it should be connected. Okay. I will disable the camera to make it full screen for you. Okay, now it is connected online. We don't need voltage, six current is okay for us. Make sure that the analog are checked. And here for the binary input, this is terminal block in case you need to save it for uh, uh, saving time in future to make it very easy to remember which terminal point you need to connect. Here in case you need to use weight contact, this is a nominal voltage but I have the right contact. Binary output in case it's applicable, if not, no problem. Here for the transducer, we don't have transducer here. And time source, which is not applicable in this uh, test. Now I will start with the test modules. First of all, um, differential configuration, which I can do two things, wiring check at the same time the stability. Here I will make 100% uh, loading of the transformer, maybe three phase if you would like. You can also use different uh, fault loops. And also here, this is primary side. You can change this from here to make it the other side. As you see. And also you can play with the maximum uh, time of the injection to give the chance to uh, check the wiring. 
by reading the relay uh, measurement. And the most important thing that relay will not issue will not issue uh, any trip because this is stable condition, and you have to press pass as an indication that this test is already passed. Second test module will be differential operating characteristic. As we agreed before, we have shot and we have surge. Shot is very easy. I will put one point in the tripping area, one point in the restrain area, and also you can select which fault loop you would like to test. As, as you, you prefer, you can make one for each uh, uh, fault type. Now I will do the same operating characteristic, but this time will be for um, uh, surge test. I will select only one or make make two testing points and I will add um, a differential uh, trip time for checking the trip time. In some relays, uh, pre-fault condition is uh, essential, you have to make it. Uh, this relay uh, needs uh, a pre-fault, I will make pre-fault for two seconds with 0.5 uh, pre-fault current and I will add uh, some uh, two testing points and for sure this is a fault loop and I will end it that with uh, differential harmonic restraint let's make one example with a fifth harmonics from here you can select the fifth instead of second we need to test both of them, second and fifth. I will add a point, short point of about uh, one ampere. This should be trip. The and I make it add. This should be no trip. And let's start the test automatically. Only just click on start continue all. Let's see the shot. Okay, the first point pass. Second point pass, no trip, of course. Okay, this is great. Now, do we, the, oh, sorry, I select the same short points. Both are no trip. I uh, forget to make search. After I finish, I will add one for search. Trip time, okay. Let's wait for the fifth harmonics, yes sir. Okay, excellent. One is trip, one is not trip, if, if, what, which is exceeding uh, the limit of the uh, fifth harmonics. I will remove these, remove all points. Instead of that, I will make two line, search line for two slopes. And let's start. As you will see, points are going up and down until getting the uh, this interact with the operating characteristic. If the point is between the boundary of the tolerance, it will be passed. If outside the, bar, the boundary, it will be failed. First point is passed. Okay, done. Now we have a testing file which is ready. There is some tips and the tricks you can insert. For example, uh, a group. Uh, for example, if I have a multifunction, this function may be uh, to be uh, to be used for uh, a transformer differential. Other folder maybe for the overcurrent, and you can rename it here. For example, differential. Uh, and uh, a lot of uh, feature we can uh, talk about it uh, later on in a different uh, webinar. I hope this is clear for you as a practical part for how to test uh, transformer differential uh, relay by using the parameter based uh, or parameter setting based testing, which is uh, test universe with uh, uh, test modules. And now it's a time for the new innovative. Uh, solution which is 
provided by Omicron relation test, why we need it, uh, what is the new approach is, and let's start with the uh, presentation again. I will close this. For sure you can save it and use it many times later on uh, uh, by using it, uh, saving it in a safe place, but I don't need it now. And I will open again the presentation. It's coming back to uh, the presentation. Uh, don't forget that we have uh, restricted asphalt, REF, which we can also test. A uh, few information about restricted asphalt, why it's needed. Uh, actually, restricted asphalt uh, is designed to uh, protect the uh, point uh, which is close to uh, star point uh, grounded. Uh, and this area, if we have a line to ground fault, uh, uh, it will not be detected by uh, the differential because it's very less current and to over overcome uh, uh, this issue uh, we can apply our circuit asphalt. How to test it? Actually we have different techniques uh, uh, with Omicron uh, I can uh, uh, I can count three three different techniques. Uh, technique number one we can use single uh, phase differential if you remember we have a single phase differential in this module. You can use it but be careful because uh, uh, it is uh, supporting uh, this bias equation, not uh, not applicable for any RLA. Uh, it's applicable for MyCom B uh, uh, six four uh, X series. Uh, uh, but if we have uh, uh, Siemens relay, for example, or uh, Alstom B six three three, or a different uh, bias equation, you can use another technique, which is. Uh, uh, which is uh, supporting by uh, differential operating characteristics, the straight phase, the same that which we already used for the normal differential for uh, 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 transformer differential protection function. Uh, and you will find in the hands out uh, uh, helpful uh, files uh, with application node. It will guide you how to show you how to use this uh, approach. The third way we can use uh, a state sequencer with some general test modules. Uh, it's also available in the hands out, uh, throw a link. Uh, and also we, uh, we can use this uh, new approach, relation test, to test restricted asphalt as well. As we will see together with this uh, new approach and all the benefits uh, behind it. Let's talk about the new approach, why we need it, uh, why it's important, why uh, most of the people like it. Um, let's jump to that. This is uh, system-based testing. Uh, system-based testing, maybe the name is a little bit strange for some of you, some already familiar with that, and they are really uh, users. And why it's important, let's start from the most important point. As per generic survey uh, 2013, uh, they found that uh, the main causes uh, of the misoperation may be around 28% because incorrect setting, logic uh, design errors, 20% uh, of uh, relay failure, um, relay itself, 17% uh, about the communication failure, um, uh, DC system 5% uh, uh, and we have AC system out 9% and uh, left 9% uh, nine, 9 as a personal error and 12% uh, is still unknown. Uh, the good news that uh, if we do a comparison uh, between the conventional testing which is the same method which we used by uh, checking the only the parameter setting of the protection clay uh, and compare that with the new uh, innovative uh, solution of uh, relation test, uh, which you call, uh, which you, uh, which it can be represent uh, system based testing. We will find that system based testing is much more uh, to add uh, side by side uh, to conventional testing. Let's uh, give uh, one easy example for you. As you see here in the right-hand side and left-hand side, in the right-hand side, we have a system-based testing, which is a relation test. 
Left hand side is uh, conventional testing with the parameter, uh, parameter setting testing uh, as usual as we did already by using the PTL, by using the uh, Ohm's law, uh, test object hardware configuration test module. Same applications that most of the people are still using it, which is still available and uh, it's necessary to do it. But actually, we're still missing many points in the testing to raise the quality of this testing. What kind of important information we need to apply, we need to check. Uh, let me give an example. As, I, uh, as you remember in earlier slides, I showed that uh, CT saturation or CT transient behavior, it's very, very important and very essential to be considered uh, during testing uh, transformer differential or differential in general. Uh, this is a very important point we have to consider. What else? We can also say that uh, restrict this fault can be done by uh, system-based testing uh, uh, easily by controlling multiple CMCs with only one, one uh, uh, software. It means that, okay, I can test uh, differential uh, uh, for tertiary uh, three winding at the same time. Yes, this is what we will do right now um, uh, after the spherical part. Uh, and what else? Uh, sometimes we have uh, some phenomena like uh, 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 capacitive current uh, for, for transmission line, for example, or mutual coupling for transmission line for parallel line. Uh, and uh, those two phenomena, it's difficult to test it by the conventional, but with a new approach, it's very easy. It can be considered uh, in it without any issue. Let's see uh, in, a, in a basic way, uh, what is the difference between conventional and uh, uh, system-based uh, testing. Let's start with the conventional. It means that um, a one plus one equal two. Very easy equation, straightforward. What does it mean? If I have an overcurrent, for example, setting is one ampere, then I will inject one ampere and slightly I will increase a little bit. Then will I back up? Uh, then one, one plus one is exactly two. Very straightforward. The same injection, I got the feedback, only relay is okay. I can uh, say that, okay, relay passed, but actually uh, maybe uh, this setting is not correctly uh, uh, calculated or maybe it's correctly calculated, but some other factor uh, 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 not, not considered during the testing, like uh, maybe one ampere, um, I, I give an uh, example as well, it's not uh, true. Uh, but for example, one ampere is uh, it's full current, maybe it leads uh, to uh, CT saturation. How I can consider this? How can I, uh, I check that? How I can check this behavior? This is uh, not easy uh, to be considered in the conventional testing because it's, uh, it's very similar to straightforward injection, uh, one plus one equal two. But uh, uh, coming to the reality, the real world, uh, uh, we can see here that the same equation for the same testing, uh, which is the second one, the second equation as you see it uh, uh, now, I, maybe I can highlight it to make it more clear. This equation actually, this equation, which is a little bit complicated, it is the same value as the conventional, but we consider a lot of other reality uh, like uh, CD saturation, some distortion is not not uh, 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 pure sinusoidal, very clear to the relay, but here we consider a lot of factors which the relay will see during the uh, normal life or to the real life. That's why the new approach should complete the solution and side by side the conventional or the parameter based testing with uh, system-based testing will increase the uh, quality of the testing for sure. Uh, we have to use both of them. If we would like and uh, need to overcome, uh, to, uh, overcome the misoperation causes, or most of it, uh, honestly. Let's give you some examples. Uh, as we see here, this is a distance protection. It's not the same. It's a, not the main topic for uh, for us today to discuss. But okay, here I got that. Okay, green tech uh, all pass. But maybe the character, this characteristic itself, is not uh, uh, is not adapted with uh, uh, resistance and reactance as per my transmission line. 
and uh, some uh, some uh, mutual effects can also uh, do some uh, bad uh, uh, effect on the uh, before the performance of that relay. That's why uh, relay tests can discover this easily by very easy approach. We can see how we can adapt it and how we can use it. It's more easier than the conventional as well. Maybe another example here, it's very clear related to our topic today uh, due to the CT saturation. CT saturation can lead uh, to uh, the uh, misoperation of the transformer differential. As you see here, the internal fault, external fault turn into uh, uh, internal fault detection by, by, by mistake due to the CT saturation and uh, we need to avoid that. Uh, how to check that? Uh, in old days, if you remember, we use a technique of playback, which is uh, uh, extra track the disturbance recorder and play it back again to the protection system and they check if this relay survive and uh, approve that uh, it is overcome this uh, uh, normal behavior of the CT or uh, during the transient condition or, or not. Uh, and uh, this technique actually is very limited because uh, you have to wait until the problem happened and then you will start from this point uh, in uh, relation. And also it's not applicable to try uh, all uh, the possibility of the different uh, factors. Uh, but with a new behavior, with a new, with a new or software, new approach, new technique, it's easy to allocate all of those points in one uh, testing file with different test scenarios, as we will see together. What else? Nowadays, we have uh, multifunction relays all allocated in one protection system and one, one protection relay or, uh, and uh, to check and verify uh, this uh, overall protection scheme, it is not easy to be done by the conventional or the uh, parameter setting testing. Uh, uh, what is required to, up, uh, to apply the new approach? Very few things which is required. Line impedance short circuit current on uh, the buses, we can say the impede, and CT and VT ratio. And don't forget, if you have the uh, CT result, CT test result, uh, it is uh, necessary to be used to simulate more realistic waveform to be used during the test um, uh, and check the uh, system capability uh, against that phenomena of the transient, uh, such a transient behavior of the CT uh, during the fault condition, during normal condition. Something else, uh, yes, we can consider the saturation of the transformer itself. A lot of benefit, a lot of behavior can be done by using release and test again. One of it also, as I mentioned before, tertiary winding can be tested with a primary and secondary at the same time. Uh, with a very easy steps and uh, this is a um, second example which I will show it to you and also uh, because as a, uh, one software can control multiple CMCs with the one PC it enables you to test even the T connection as you see here with a complicated scheme like uh, uh, transformer in zone uh, of the protected line uh, which is not easy to be uh, tested by the uh, uh, conventional uh, test method. Uh, very easy approach. It's only uh, we can summarize that uh, we need a PC with a software for sure with a license to start to draw the topology of your protection system. Then automatically it will calculate and it will uh, show the sine wave of the uh, of waveform of the uh, uh, expected or the calculated uh, more realistic uh, uh, signal which should be injected by the CMC into to the relay and getting the feedback. That can be done very easy uh, by using the relay test with the CMC uh, directly. Uh, something also else, maybe we, we, if we have a time uh, at the end of this webinar, I can give a hint about time domain 
function which is a traveling wave which cannot be which cannot be tested by the conventional uh, method only the new approach can do that uh, some uh, some challenges like uh, series uh, compensated line which is difficult to be tested by the it's not not impossible but a lot of efforts a lot of time can be wasted uh, in case you use this uh, conventional method ct saturation uh, the, the most important and effective uh, Affected method is uh, relation test. Adaptive adaptive uh, protection testing also relation test can do it very easy. Uh, something else I would like to show it to you here is uh, relation test is a standalone software. Uh, it uh, it can work uh, independent of the uh, relay manufacturer. I don't care about uh, the bias equation. I don't care about the relay manufacturer. Or the type or the model of this protection clay, but I care mostly uh, about the behavior of that protection clay. Is it applicable to protect my system or not? Let's start with a practical uh, example. I will start with uh, with uh, software before uh, using this to inject uh, signals to uh, uh, into the protection clay and getting the feedback. Uh, let's close this uh, presentation and stop. Start the release and test. Release and test. The latest version is 3.4. Let's start from scratch, one example from scratch. New test document. We will find here uh, four choices. Choice number one is about the template, something similar to the BTL, ready made, only just you need to adapt the power system data as per your application. We can also use one from the personal template if you created your own template. You can start uh, from a line topology, you can start from the uh, substation topology as well. Let's start from the template. Uh, here we have different application. I will start now the transformer protection. We have different here, including the type changer, which is something amazing here. You can uh, do a complete this with different tab uh, position. Uh, also, we have here phase shifting, uh, which is a special application in some uh, networks. We have here three winding and two winding. Let's just start with the three winding. This is the same application which we have it right now. Here we have four uh, sections. Section number one related to the reporting. Uh, this and also you can add the logo for your company here for the better for better test report. Here this is the uh, data which you would like to have it on the test report. Uh, this data is related to the testing engineer and uh, the title and all of that. This is only related to the report. Then the most important part, which is a system under test. This is a very important. This is the topology of your system. Here we have a topology. Instead of the uh, parameter setting of the protection relay, we need to add the uh, power system data. Uh, like here I selected already the power transformer and the power transformer you need to feed the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary. And don't forget the power as well. Those data should be available and uh, uh, mostly these those data from the power system data, not from the uh, protection relay. This is the benefit uh, behind using this approach that it's not related to the uh, relay manufacturer power system data or uh, I'm sorry, sorry not related to the uh, relay uh, power setting uh, and it's not related to the uh, model or the manufacturer of the relay. I don't care here about the bias equation. I don't care about the internal setting. I care about the uh, power system topologies, the main data of the uh, power system uh, should be applied here. Uh, one of the most important thing or the something is amazing in case you would like to test the restricted the scope just here. Here we have the star ground, uh, uh, the star point is grounded. I can easily add the neutral CT by only just click here and I can also double click the CT to change the topology as you see, uh, to change the uh, uh, polarity toward this uh, object or toward this line uh, very easy. 
by double click and also I can give the CT uh, ratio uh, and also in case you would like to uh, do the simulation for the saturation one of the very important thing here you can edit the uh, CT data you can edit manually from the name plate or if you have a, 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 a CT analyzer test report you can easily uh, import it just I can, can select I think I have okay I have uh, a, a report I can share it with you here as an example to show you that with the CT uh, test report, you can easily use it uh, to import all the uh, data related to here. This is the test report. I can easily double click and automatically it's imported all the data related to excitation curve, operating burden, and also primary rated current uh, uh, available here. Everything is already. Uh, uh, become automatically which now makes our uh, CT is very very realistic to be simulated coming back to the bar transformer here if you would like to do a kind of uh, transformer uh, with a saturation this is also can be uh, easily uh, adapted by entering those data those data you can get it from the uh, power transformer manufacturer this is uh, some of the information here it is a part of the fat test for this power transformer if you would like to uh, apply it i would like uh, always to apply this to make it more realistic but the information is very important to be added coming here to the third part which is related to the hardware configuration as we agreed here we have a tertiary it means uh, one, one cmc is not enough you need two cmc at least one CMC for six current, another CMC for the other three current. You can come here, you will find two CMCs, double click on this, you will find that, okay, the first CMC will be connected to six current and for sure to receive the uh, binary input of the tripping. You can change all of that uh, free to change. And now coming back to uh, the second CMC, second MC, CMC is connected to the three, three phase current only for representing the tertiary, no need for the input or output. Uh, because uh, feedback coming connected to the uh, CMC number one. This is all to check only so just choose here and from the list we'll do that practically once I will turn it on and you can see here how it's look like. Uh, the four section which is uh, related to the test cases, the scenarios, test points, very easily we have here different test cases. Uh, some represent, uh, represented the stability which is a normal uh, load flow. It can also use the external fault uh, from uh, from the uh, 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 primary side, secondary side, or tertiary side. How to do it? Very easy. This is a normal. In case you would like to add a fault, see here it's a very very easy and a graphical method. And once you uh, allocate a fault, it automatically will be recalculate and it change the uh, output signal very easily. Also here you can change the uh, uh, fault phases line to line for example or three phase for example to ground three phase only uh, you can find it it's very very realistic and a very strong powerful tool to real simulate a signal which is a relay will see it during the fault real fault condition with a transient simulation this is a very important and also you can change uh, the fault inception angle you can uh, 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 control when exactly the fault will occur not that not only that you can also very easily go to vary parameter and select uh, which parameter you would like to add for example this fault i would like to uh, change different uh, scenarios with different fault, uh, inception angle uh, here add different values and also you can change something else maybe a uh, fault type here you are able maybe i'm using the Randomly, only just to click add, see here what will happen. Wow, a lot of test scenarios, very realistic, and each one of these uh, of those is already calculated, ready now to be injected into the uh, uh, protection relay and getting the feedback. How to get the feedback? You can define the measurement from when, when to when, uh, exactly like uh, assessment of a state sequencer, as you remember, state sequencer. Then you can also add a different uh, test assessment as per the expectation. Uh, from the injected point for sure if I'm injecting stable uh, stable uh, 
or external uh, fault. In this case, it will start but no trip at all. If trip, it will give you fail. Let's uh, take another example very fast about the uh, a fault in zone. For example, in the primary, here I can allocate a fault in the zone. For sure, this is can be uh, uh, this is can be uh, internal fault and can trip the protection uh, relay. And uh, honestly, I, I I can also add another uh, fault in uh, inside the power transformer in turn turn to turn or turn to ground. Let's do it. Maybe I can show you one from scratch to add a new scenario to show you how it is easy. Here, once I select a scenario, I have two choices. Simulate test or uh, instruction command. Simulate test, which is, um, which is uh, 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 the test scenario. This is like a boost module. I will select this one. And after that one, I will right click here and I will add a fault. Here, this is a fault in, inside the power transformer. You can in, uh, select, you need it in uh, primary, secondary, tertiary, different fault loops, and all of these. For example, for the primary, uh, which phase is, again, you can also here coming back to vary, select the fault, and you can select, okay, for example, phases, inception angle, fault location, and give different uh, selection to make a lot of uh, uh, test scenarios to meet your expectation from your protection system. This is cannot be done easily by using the conventional concept or the con uh, conventional uh, aspect or approach, but here it's very, very more easy, more graphical, and the simulated signal or the calculated signal more realistic to the real one. I already prepared one uh, testing file for you. Maybe I will open the camera right now to show you what uh, what I did here with my system. I hope you can see. Uh, now I have two CMCs actually. One CMC is 430 and let's turn it on. Another CMC is CMC356. The good uh, behind using the recent test, it doesn't matter the CMC type. If it has a license, it will communicate with the release and test. Then 430, 353, 356, 256 and plus, all can be controlled by release and test. I use 430 for the additional three current to test the tertiary side, and I use the CMC 356 to use uh, to, to, to connect uh, to primary and secondary side. I got the feedback onto, into uh, CMC 356 with only one general trip instead of using uh, primary, tertiary, and secondary trip. This is all about the power system. Let's now, I will disable the camera. I will disable the camera to make it uh, uh, clear for you. And I will open now uh, an example, which I already did it in advance to save your time. As you see here, I created a lot uh, of the test scenarios, for example, here internal fault when the primary and in secondary. I will do this with you now uh, to show you a practical example. Here, as you see here, if in case we, we have more than one CMC, it should be synchronized. Luckily, uh, with a net two option, if you, ha if you have uh, uh, net two option, C one CMC will be a master clock to the other CMC and uh, both uh, synchronized together. As you see here, this will be uh, six current and this will be three current only. And this receive a uh, trip from the primary side. Uh, just to click clear all, I will clear all uh, test results. I'm now able to start the test. I forget something very, very important, which is a wiring check, but because I, I, used, I did this before, maybe I bypass it, but later on I will show it to you. Here, as you see here, internal fault in primary winding with different location. Turn to ground.
Also something good I preferred a lot, especially if you have a mini signal to be connected here, that you will have here the digital input, just one minute, okay, good. I have one point is failed, and this is with a reason, I will tell you why. This is very close to the star point grounded, and 1% if you remember, circular spot should be a trip, but here because we disabled our circular spot differential, didn't detect it. And this is the main uh, value of relay sim test to discover the problem, not of the relay, it's not a problem of the relay, because another function can detect which is restricted fault. If I enable restricted fault, this fault should be uh, detected. Let me show you how to uh, make sure that this point will be okay. I clear the result. Instead of 1%, uh, uh, I will make it 10%. Very critical value. Let's see how, uh, how it will act now. Okay, now now it is detected by the uh, by the protection of the differential uh, because it's ten percent. But if it is less, then the restricted air fault should taking care about that. This is uh, one of the feature which is very important to be uh, uh, considered during the commissioning uh, and during the maintenance to make sure that your system is ready. As I mentioned here before, here we have also the trip uh, condition is available here. You have to cruiser or two cursors you can also use it to determine the value you can easily here get a uh, bin for the uh, uh, measurement which will help you a lot here for example pre-fault condition here fault condition but this tool can add a lot of uh, measured and calculated value it will help you a lot uh, coming back to the point which is uh, uh, checking the measurement only just here check wiring you can find easily here the signal just to start and you can get okay I got the trip here because this is a differential trip and I have to read out those value from the uh, relay itself this is for the primary and secondary I have to do the same for the uh, tertiary as well no trip because it's not connected and I have to read these uh, those uh, um, uh, values from the relay itself to make the wiring check. For sure here, I, I did only this point, but I, I can start all together, but only to show you that this is how to deal with relay sim test, how it is easy, how it is very effective and value, very high value to be added with uh, conventional uh, testing as well. Uh, this is all for our uh, webinar uh, for today. I will be very happy to receive all your questions and if we have um, time uh, I will try to answer it now if not please share your question with me by email or uh, uh, send it in the chat and I will consider that to be replied uh, uh, later on by email. Thank you very much, thank you for your time and thank you for attending our webinar for today. Uh, very very happy to have you today, thank you very much, bye for waiting for your question. Sorry.